September 10th, 2013, Tucson, Arizona. Been raining pretty hard the last couple of days. After I came back from my run, right out here in front of my house, you could see these are flying ants. Flying ants, almost like a, a cyclone of flying ants. Now, it's very interesting about these, these flying ants. Uh, what you're seeing, I believe, is a mating ritual. They drop to the ground after they're flying, and I'll show you over here on the rock. You can see a, a bunch of the ants together. Some are separate here over here. So what they do is they they drop from the sky and they're a lot of them are mating. Now another thing about these flying ants is they're very non-aggressive. They'll fly on my arm. Let me see if I can come over here where I can get into the swarm of them. Yeah, you can see them. They're on my arm, see? Now we know that ants bite. Ants can be very dangerous for people who are allergic to them. But these ants are non-aggressive. They don't bite. I've never had a flying ant bite me. Let me see if I can get you a picture of a couple of them mating right there on my arm. But anyway, for you atheists out there, evolutionists who believe in evolution, how do you answer this question? How is it that ants who normally live in the ground all their life, forage on the ground, build nests in the ground, how is it, you evolutionists, atheists, that all of a sudden they can grow wings and then fly, actually fly, and then drop to the sky, become non-aggressive. I'd like to find out how you atheists answer that. You know, as a Christian, I believe, of course, that this is an example of the majesty, the awesomeness of, of God, the Creator, the Lord Jesus. And this is his example of his brilliance in his mind. So the comment, tell me how you atheists will uh, Give me an answer how this absolutely miraculous event can happen.